All right, you're back. We're back. 19th now, December, and scraping around in the house, I, I found a bag which I'd lost. And in the bag, got some goodies. This could help me. This is new old stock wiring harness. It's not the right one for the car, but it could easily be modified. Um, it's, a, it's a manual, not an auto. Sorry, it's a... Oh my God. Look what I found. I didn't know I had. New old stock. Hazard light bezel. You've got to be joking. When did I buy that? And what's it doing in this bag? Guys, look what we got. New old stock. Hazard light indicator. Uh, happy, happy, happy. I thought I had one. I just couldn't remember where I got it. Might have been on eBay that, and then I just lost it. But in with the wine harness is that light, so we can fit that, and we can work out if there's any bits we can do with these wiring harnesses here. There's two to choose from, so that's going to help us, isn't it? Okay, so we're doing a bit of wiring harness work. I'll say some some good finds there, but also we're doing some plating work. I'll take you over in a minute to the plating department, and we'll get on with. Uh, some uh, zinc plating and passivating on those heater control arms that we just took off on the earlier video. Over to that now, and I'll just uh, put this safe with the dashboard. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. Okay, welcome to the plating department for the Swampy PNO 922K 71 Mark III Cortina GXL restoration, and we are um, going to zinc plate, then gold passivate or yellow passivate. Some components on the heater distribution box these are the levers and uh, brackets which run on the heater distribution box they're being pickled in some hydrochloric acid a mild solution as we speak cleaned up and ready to go into the tank just got this kit from ebay which is um from ah, no no uh, no website on the front so i'm afraid i don't know where it's from that they're lost not mine I'll find out later for you. I should always put your name on the front of your sheets. Right, so basically it's a, this is a 5 litre tub. Um, to build it up what you're trying to do is you put in a piece, all these bits are supplied with a kit by the way. You get a copper wire which you put around the rim of the bucket. That's to create an electrical uh, circuit to hang these anodes on. These are zinc. And that's what it needs to work. It's going to sort of, um, with the process of electrolysis, it's going to convey these molecules or whatever they are across through the electrolyte, which is we're going to mix in a minute. So basically, hang those zinc plates with the wire that's supplied. I think they're using um, a titanium wire or something like that. I didn't quite read it, but hook them round, there's little holes already drilled in them and then you hook them onto the wire so it makes an electrical connection that wire's going all the way around the top and then it's going to have a hook up there for the power pack and the bit that you're dipping also is connected to a a bar which you'll see in a minute I've got a heater in it, that doesn't come with a kit, that's an aquarium heater I'm going to run it at 25 degrees, get that water warm chemicals are going in, one bag of nickel chloride first in that bad boy goes just following the instructions now um, I'm gonna put the water in first actually it doesn't actually say this here let me just see uh, well I always like to put always add always add a chemical to the water never the other way around because that could just react and explode so I'm just gonna put the deionized water in I got mine from Halfords, it was quicker than making it out of the kettle, which would have took ages and used loads of energy, it's only cheap, four quid a tub. Deionised water to go in now. Right, just put in the battery top up water, which is distilled water. So that goes in, the instructions are saying put your, zinc chlor your nickel chloride in one bag, that's a 220 gram bag because I've got the smaller kit, one of those in. Before right, I switch the heater on, that'll start to... I've set that at 25. Also, we've got a, a pump in there too. That helps agitate the solution. That's just an aquarium pump, £9.99 pump. You can get them for eight quid. Very basic pump, plug in. 
Okay, so we're agitating there now. Okay, so what we want to do is add per the instructions the rest of the chemicals. It's pretty straightforward this, but I think it's easier when you see it on a video. I was looking for videos on YouTube of this process, but this will be good for, for the, my um, colleagues there on YouTube who are following the videos, maybe, maybe doing their own restorations, and a lot of people ask about zinc plating. I've all, I, I was one of them, I was wondering how it all worked. So I couldn't help my curiosity and buy one of these kits. 77 quid the kit was, came with enough to do this full tub. And I think you can plate a lot of stuff for that. The instructions will tell you exactly what you can do. I'll find you the web page before I uh, finish the video. It is not on this sheet. I'm just looking now if it is. I don't think so. I wish it was because I could tell you where I got it. But no, nothing on any of the instructions there that tells us where we bought this from. Anyway, I'll carry on with it. I'll put that, um, the nickel, 220 grams of nickel in. So, now they want a bag of zinc and a bag of ammonium chloride. So I'll add those now. Here they go. Here's our ammonium chloride bag. That's 600 grams. And then, what else did they want? Zinc. They've got a zinc one. So, looks like they give you enough chemicals to do this twice so that's quite good you're getting two tanks worth so you could, have, you could basically have a bigger tank than this this give you enough to do uh, a, a 10 litres tank so uh, zinc in next and then the ammonium then that's our um, electrolyte done we'll then start building the electrical part of it and then we're, we're ready to go we can start we can start zinc plating Right, I'm looking forward to this. Let's get them chemicals in there now and we can get Swampy's parts from the heater distribution box dipped in there. We're going to use a piece of brake pipe, copper brake pipe, to suspend the items in the water. I'll just bend that over so it doesn't move about. And then the electrical connector fits on the end of that, so you've got current going in through the electrolyte, then it's coming out through the anodes onto that electrical connector and then they're using this to vary the power basically that's a piece of resistance wire if you put 12 volts in at one one end there's not much power comes out of the other I don't know how much volt voltage drop there is but basically as you, if you connect your crock clip the more you go to this end the less power it picks up so you use this to um, match the size of the item you're plating smaller items you'll be picking up lower feed power at one end and uh, it, it explains that in the in the book again basically that is a, cur a current limiter so for smaller items you need less current so you just utilize the current limiter to produce less current uh, to pick up less current rather so the more resistance of wire it goes through the less of the current so you're basically picking it up when it's got to force its way through a lot more resistance of the wire I hope that explained that and that's uh, that's what's in the kit. Then there's also some chemicals for doing blue copper, a blue finish or a, a yellow finish. And that's it. You get the crop clips and some more wire there and stuff like that. So I'm going to do the electrical connections now. I'm going to solder mine up. Here we go now. I'll just do the electrical connections and add the chem rest of the chemicals. Here we go. That's the last bag. That's the, the zinc in. So they pre-weighed them for you in the kit to go on a uh, five litre drum. Just discard those. Okay, so you'd have to go to Holford's because the water's not included. So just get that, it's four quid for the water, distilled water. Bucket comes with it. And basically everything you need comes with it except the water, so that's not bad. I think that's 77 quid. Right, so that's the electrolyte. Well, I'm going to actually use the bus bar to stir it. The bus bar is, is the copper bar that goes across the um, tub, across the tub. That's Gonna, you're going to hang all your stuff off this. It's called a bus bar, basically just because it distributes across its length. Uh, they have them in switch boxes and things. It's an electrical term. I'm giving that a stir now. Looks a nice colour. Just feeling if there's any chemicals at the bottom, which there are. Some have settled, so I'll keep on stirring that. 
probably start to get warm soon. Gloves on next for this because we don't know what's in these chemicals. Goggles as well. Get your gloves and goggles with it. So we'll be wearing them too, right? I'm not blowing my eyes out. Okay, I'll put these other chemicals to one side there if you'd have wanted to do another five litres worth, which I thought was good value. Not needed. Time to solder up the cables and get the power supply fitted. There's a spare piece of magnesium wire for more zinc. Oh, and you also get um, nickel electrodes for nickel plating. So I've put in the zinc ones for zinc. And there's your nickel, so you can do both. I'm not sure what the difference between zinc and nickel is in terms of the finish or the durability, etc. But I'm going for zinc first. It's possible that some items are nickel plated on cars, I don't know. We'll have to find out about that. Okay, then um, let me speed you ahead now while I sold up the power pack. Ready to go. Right, I've tried some xylate that comes with it, 250ml they wanted to go in there, so that's gone in. I've actually taken a little bit of uh, electrolyte off the top of the tub and stored it in this empty Halfords water tub. That's a spare electrolyte, because it's quite full now, that tub. Uh, so we've got some spare stuff there, so we're at the top. One more thing to add now, which is um, Z290 maintenance, so we'll do that. And then we're ready to start uh, connecting the power. Right, last of the chemicals in is a one capful for the five litre tub uh, of this maintenance solution. I don't know what it's for, but uh, it's, it had asked for a capful of that in. So that was, uh, that's all the chemicals in. So basically, what did we use? Capful of this maintenance, a tub of the Xylite 290 makeup, and then a bag of zinc chloride, that was 250 gram. And now ammonium chloride 600 gram and nickel chloride 220 grams that's what went in that water and that went into Holford's uh, well anywhere any deionized uh, water I got it from Holford so and then a cap as I said a cap full of that uh, maintenance that's it for that your yellow finish is done later on with this uh, these passivate chemicals that's a in a separate tank later on that gives it the color the yellow color and if you want that so we're ready to we've got the power feed set up now 12 volt power pack negative connection goes on that bus bar you're going to hang stuff on copper wire off that positive connection comes from the current controller you'll be picking the, the, the right electrical voltage that you want to use so i'm going to go for a small item i'm going to be down this end if the input's at the left, I'll be picking up down there, which will be a lot less power because it's going through that resistance. So I'm going to be hooking up round there, like that. All I've got to do now is connect the positive to this. It goes round through, round the copper wire, onto the anodes, and then hanging on this copper piece, or connect that to negative, then hanging on that is your parts to plate. Okay, I'm going to test it now. Right, this is my pickling tank where the stuff's been slowly cleaning itself up over a few days and there's that bracket now out of the heater the heater distributor box that you saw me taking off on the earlier videos that's pickled clean that's ready to, to go into the tank now you have problems with your air hose wobbling around because there's no weight on it make a weight out a bit of brake pipe and a bleed nipple on the end like i did or you can stick a bolt on the end right 20 minutes in the tank There you go. Here we have the heater box operating arms, the heat distribution box operating arms coming out. A lot better than they went in. Right, it's going in. Good luck, we wish you good luck in the zinc tank washer pump we wish you good luck will she work will she blow let's see in 20 minutes time